Hello and many blessings. My name is Ashley and welcome to Worth the Read. On Worth the Read, we talk about books that are worth your time and mine. We're very busy people, aren't we? We don't have all day long to sit and read a book. So all the books I like to talk about on my channel are worth the read. The first book I purchased with this Amazon book haul was a book that I wanted to get before Christmas, but it was sold out everywhere everywhere meaning Amazon um and that is the illustrated version of Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets by JK Rowling this book is huge now every booktuber will tell you the same thing it's big and it's heavy but it's absolutely gorgeous and if you're a Harry Potter stan stalking fan 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 like I am you must have the illustrated versions in your collections. I plan on purchasing all of them. This is the first one. I've been trying to get this book for a month, but around Christmas time, it sold out and was out for a month. But they finally got it in stock as soon as I saw that. Um, I just got it as quick as I could. So, I'm not going to do a synopsis on Harry Potter. If you haven't read Harry Potter, what is wrong with your life? I don't understand. Try again. But... So, if you have, everybody knows it. If you're watching BookTube, you've read Harry Potter. So, my first book. <laughs> the second book that I purchased with this Amazon book haul is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This book is being turned into a movie. I've already read this book. I've read it and listened to it on Audible. I suggest you do both if you like that kind of thing. The Audible actor who's reading this book was amazing. Um, this book is about the world after that the world has gone through this disaster and people really don't live in reality. They live in this world called the Oasis and everybody lives in the Oasis. So you can go to school in the Oasis, you can go on dates in the Oasis, you can play games in the Oasis. You pretty much do everything in the Oasis. So it's really nothing to do in the real world. And they go, you go on a venture with the main character to try to win a contest presented to you by the creator of the Oasis. This is an excellent book. They are turning this book into a movie and it's releasing March the 29th of 2018, this year. I pray, pray that they stick to the book. The problem when they turn books into movies, they go left. And I don't know why. Because if you're turning a book into a movie, it's already excellent as a book and it's already popular. Why change it? So hopefully the trailer for this I've already seen is kind of a little sketchy. I don't know. I pray again that they stick to the book. I know you have to turn the book into a screenplay, but the foundation is already there with the book. Why change it? So... Here's hoping that they stick to the book in the movie and I'll be going to see it as soon as it comes out and probably do a book versus a movie review. Um, this is an excellent book. This is my first fantasy world video game type style book. Um, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it because I'm not really into gaming books. I like video games but I don't like the books reading about video games. But I, I enjoyed it. I gave this a uh, 5 stars. This is my first five-star book on my channel. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Great book. My next book is Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shona McGuire. This is the third book in what we hope is a trilogy of Every Heart's a Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones, which is the second book. I just finished the second book and I'm going to do a review about all three. I purchased this book. It just released January 9th, so I got it as soon as it came out. Um, because I love the first two. This is a fantasy book, um, about a world where doorways open for children and they're able to walk through them and go into a different world that is more suitable for them for the most part. Um, kind of like, not, it's a kind of comparison to Alice in Wonderland. That kind of fantasy, she goes into a different world and things happen. This is the last book. I hope it's as good as the first and the second one. And I pray that this is the last one so we don't have to wait any longer and she can just wrap it up with the third book. But 
I suggest you read all three if you haven't read Every Heart's a Doorway and Down Among Those Sticks, Bones and Sticks or Sticks and Bones. I just finished it. It's right there. If you haven't read those two, read those two first, of course, and then pick this one up. Hopefully it'll be just as good as the first two. My last book in this very small Amazon book haul it's not a book, it's a graphic novel. Well, it's a book. It's a graphic novel, it's not a regular novel. Um, and that's Saga, Volume 1, by Brian Vaughn and illustrated by Fiona Staples. Um, I got this graphic novel because one of my students is really into, she loves graphic novels and manga and anime and all that. So she suggested that this be the first one I dive into if I wanted to start reading graphic novels. The only issue with graphic novels is the writing is so small, you can barely see it. So, um, I'm going to try to get through this and not get frustrated and just put it down. This graphic novel is about two warriors from opposite ends of this war that the world is going through end up falling in love and having a baby. And they're trying to survive um, together because now they're enemies of this world. Um, everyone who's on book two who reads graphic novels suggests that this is one of the best. So why not start with one of the best? Hopefully I enjoy it. I didn't order the second volume yet. I said let me get into this one and see if I can handle reading the small print. And then I might get the second volume. And hopefully I do. Hopefully I want to enjoy it to have something to talk to my student about that she's really interested in. So um, I'll probably read this sooner rather than later. And again, saga, graphic novel. So that concludes my Amazon book haul. If you like what you've seen on Worth the Read, comment, rate, subscribe, say hello. If you're in Philly, say what's up. And enjoy. Everybody have a great day and many blessings out to you and the rest of the world from Worth the Read. Bye, guys.